And we're back with another episode of Subnautica. Last time we needed to kill something. We needed to get a icon. And we're, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get ourselves a chip. Nobody left me any comments down in the comment section. So, that just means we're gonna have to kill... What's his face? The big guy. Not him. That's our doggo. We're gonna keep him. Where'd that big guy go? Where's he at? Ooh, he knows his impending death is coming. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Ooh. I hate to do this to you. But I'm gonna have to take your chip. But that's our doggo. We couldn't just go after him. Okay, where'd that Zeppelin go? That is what we are missing. Okay, it was directly across from this thing over there, so our Zeppelin is right over here. Should be. Maybe? Oh boy, I'm lost. Great. Where's our Zeppelin? Oh, it was right here. Oh, are you mad at me? Oh, I would never hurt you, doggo. Yo. Oh, wait. There it is. Duh. I am an idiot. No, I'm not. But yes, I am. Alright, we got this chip. So let's do this. Yeah, whatever. Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was Don't argue semantics. Talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really is it? From us? Is it? Is it it's just fine? To sink in. I mean, really sink in. Robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. You unsensitive woman. Hey, where'd my gun go? Where'd my gun go? I want my gun. Give me back my gun. I don't feel safe. We're about to go meet this crazy little some biscuit eater who decided to kill everybody at this base. So, where's my gun at? Where's my gun? Give me my gun. This ain't funny. This isn't funny. I want my gun back. Y'all seeing that? Something just popped up on my screen. Ah, there's an invisible wall. Can't get out. Satellite hardware. Oh, you talking to me now? Sorry, I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear 
weird that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. Makes sense. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I... Fair point. ...balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? We're not really saving Speaking mankind. Which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omnitool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Cap, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See yeah, soon. whatever. Alright. So we're officially at... No, we're not at the Theta site. We're trying to get the Dunbat. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. <laughs> He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The wild church did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait, where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. The guest is still at Delta. I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right, see you soon. Hmm. Cat didn't know. Nobody knew. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good. Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. All right. So, they pretty much are starting to feel either what they're the they're the copy, and the originals on the ship, when it's really the other way around. Is that is that what's going on here? Oh, that's a dead battery cell. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah. Let's get up in this thing. Let's go get this done bat. That's a door. That's a big door. What are you? Is there anything in particular that you're actually keeping hot hidden in here? Was well, there something in here you don't want getting out? Let's go.
There we go. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Captain, we found Theta. We found Theta. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think that's going to be heavy enough. This will work. Alright. Let's see if we can get this place back online. We're here? We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was If there's a weird gap in my recording, it's because, uh... What's it like inside the my recording device movie, likes to split reality. things in half. No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself. Yes. Attached to a probe, fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just... Thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Ah, we have we meaning go. in our life. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It's... It's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm, sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's explore the station where this weird acres guy is trying to kill everything. Life support, wow, air, clean, medium, pressure, map. Oh, looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. It's one heck of a mod you got there on your PC. All right, where are we going first? Can't get through there. Here we go. Is this where the sub is? Oh no. Anything in here? Nothing in here. Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out. <gasps> what? Is it another one of those things? Guy Conrad. It's so interesting downstairs. Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. Somebody likes your liquor. A lot of liquor. But then again, if it's the end of the world, I mean, wouldn't you? I would. Nothing. Hold on. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station in case something. And then one. Catherine. A 
I'm just worried about my colleagues. What have we got here? Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW. But more importantly, it was assembled in a seeming, seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. Hello? June 14th, 2103. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that Wild copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar to its construction except for one point, where my capsule houses flat people constructed with modeled neurographs the Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content. From the originating brain scan, Reed emerged, and Reed inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate, replicate WoW scanning technique using the pilot seats. They were already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums we needed. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set up to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspected WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have so stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machine. So it wasn't artificial intelligence to begin with. Y'all messed up and made it artificial intelligence. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we can now officially start the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we can launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something can live on like that. Mark Serange killed himself after a scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the ARC. I'm not sure how that would work. I did trigger a lot of arguments ab among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Stroheimer, Strohmeyer, Strohmeyer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. Unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. Hmm. What's the little projector? Looks homemade. That's my attempt at building a vivarium. It's kind of a proto arc. Anything else in here, Miss Catherine, that you've been hiding from me? Reveal your secrets to me. Reveal them. You don't have to search my room. <laughs> nah, we good. We good. We doing this. We are doing this. We're doing this. I, f I think you're hiding stuff, and it seems like you are. You said the wild wasn't dangerous. You knew they took on that life. The teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Can't get in through there. Is that everything that we can do in here? Get off my... So this is the fool that killed himself. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I explained, this is accomplished by causing to live as your scan is being completed. To not... Dude, this writing sucks. To not incite Catherine 
do this and scared by folding cyanide cells. Okay, so that's your suicide note. I'm not about to attempt to read that. Approval letter. Mr. Serang, the company was very pleased to hear about your success in making the WOW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study an emergency study the while from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The while is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. You did it. You're the one that created the artificial intelligence. Or am I pointing the finger too soon? Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans. And they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. Are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. Yeah, but it doesn't work that way. That's not really you. You're trying to base it as if it's some sort of religion. It's not. It's not really you. And it will never be you. It's fake. It's not a real... Can't turn on the light? Yes, give it here. Give it here. Give it here. Oh, that was different. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Let's me focus. That's... I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. Oh, it's become a drug. We're all going to die anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Serang and the continuity. Oh no. Well, I know they, they were talking about how they've been offing themselves, but no, that that's not what you do. It's not real. Nor will it ever be real. And another one of those things is in here with me, isn't it? I think it is. What? I'm gonna see something in here that I really don't want to see, aren't I? Okay, good. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a flashlight. 
That was probably very dark for you guys. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And another shower. Nothing in the bathroom. No mirrors either. Yeah, okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. I have a feeling you're going to do what I think you're doing. Okay. Don't think I want to go in here, but... Here we go. Ah. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. This is where I would store the arc scans. So you saved the whole staff digitally on these chips? That was the plan. Unable to please reset router in the sub level vault. Oh, so we gotta go into the vault. Which one is it? What's in here? Oh. Fast. Damaged. Uh, is there even a single good one in here? Do I even need one? Ah. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Need to fix that mainframe connection. Yep. Alright, I've got to go down to another sub level. This hey. is where I did my scan. And That's... all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Oh, check this. Is this Munchie? How did this? What is this? Yeah, Munchie. Munchie was the guy that scanned us. Cap, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Doctor Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so. It was freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. You didn't know. Left everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Way. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're going to keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. You use me. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. Nah, you used me. You, know you knew it wasn't gonna save me. But the crash, everything up till now, the brain damage, you guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. 
I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. But you're still alive now. Then. You're still alive. Now I don't mean living vic vicariously or extending your life through me. No, you were alive then. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No particular <coughs> time travel needed. I was Excuse me. All along, waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool. What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please. I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. No, no, you're not. So the real you knew I mean you you realized the side effects of, of what was happening as you were scanning them but you did nothing to stop it nothing not one thing no you know you wanted to keep it a secret so you could continue on with your research project all right well that's enough deep thinking for me for one day I'm going to end the video here. Next episode, we're going to head down into the sub level. last report filed by the staff mentioned struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. Keep my eyes open. Okay, well, I'm going to leave the episode here. We found out some stuff regarding what was happening with this whole ARC project and uh, what happened to me, what was really going on with me. It was an attempt to save my original life, but it didn't work. So I lived on as a carbon copy. I'm not the real Simon. Anyway, that's, a, that, that's some deep the thoughts. And, that was on the <sighs> what did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So, if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the art. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Okay. Alright, well, you've already heard my outro spiel. Go ahead, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and consider sharing if you'd help, like to help me out. Still a new channel, still getting things ready. Oh! How are you liking the editing job with uh, DaVinci? It's a lot better. I like the color and the export time. Perfect. Really helping me out. All right. You guys have been wonderful. Y'all have a wonderful day.